Hi guys, welcome back to Day in the Life Disney. Today I'm gonna dive into a video on the best drinks I know of in Walt Disney World. It's called Get Your Drink On. So let's go ahead and dive into this video today so you can have a great drink in Walt Disney World. I'm going to cover alcoholic drinks plus some non-alcoholic drinks. So let's dive into this video here today. Are you considering going to Walt Disney World this summer or this fall and don't know where to start? Contact me today at dayinthelifedisney21 at gmail.com. I am a proud Disney travel agent affiliate with Academy Travel, and I can help you start planning this magical vacation. And don't forget to subscribe and check out my channel on YouTube, Day in the Life Disney, where I have more great Disney tip videos for your next Disney vacation. Okay, so it's time to get your drink on in Walt Disney World. In this video, I'm gonna go through my top five favorite drinks, and I want all my first timers out there to grab a notepad and a pen and start writing these down, because these are ones you're not gonna wanna miss. First up is my very, very favorite animal kingdom in the world of Avatar, right outside the Flight of Passage gift shop. At the stand called Pungu Pungu is this wonderful drink called the Rum Blossom. The ingredients in this is going to be a Bacardi rum with layers of apple and dessert pear limeade topped with bomba balls. It is a alcoholic beverage and it reminds me of a frozen slushie. So make sure you grab one of these as soon as you come off a flight of passage and you come out of that gift shop, it's gonna be immediately to your left hand side. They also do have two beers on tap there and also a margarita. They also have non-alcoholic drinks, which includes Coca-Cola bottled beverages, Dasani water, milk, and Simply Orange. So if there's something there for the kiddos, definitely stop and grab one of these rum blossoms. They are currently $14. Also another Disney tip I have here, if you are not a rider and your whole family is getting on Flight of Passage, go ahead and grab a drink from the stand and grab a rum blossom and sit down while your family is riding Flight of Passage. It's a nice little refresher, a little break for you in Animal Kingdom. Up next, we are gonna head over to Disney's Magic Kingdom and we're gonna go in Fantasyland and we're gonna go to Gaston's Tavern for my next favorite drink. Did you guess it? It's Le Fou's Brew. I love this, this drink is so yummy. It is a frozen apple juice with a hint of toasted marshmallow and topped with all natural passion fruit mango foam. So good. It's good whenever, but I especially like it in the mornings because I grab one of those giant sticky bun rolls at Gaston's Tavern and have one of his brews with it. What's also nice about this drink is that it is frozen. So on one of those summer months when everybody just needs a little pick-me-up in Magic Kingdom, you've been riding all day, definitely head over to Gaston's. I think the best time to visit them is gonna be first time in the morning, but do expect a crowd because everybody's onto that sticky bun. Also, the other time I was going to tell you is after one o'clock because most people are going to hit up Starbucks in the afternoon while you can go and grab one of these awesome frozen apple juices. They do have souvenir cups. I get it in the regular cup because again, I don't like lugging those cups around. If you didn't know, there's definitely some unnecessary things that I don't pick up while I'm in Disney. Check out my YouTube channel, Day in the Life Disney. I do have a video on what a waste things are in Disney and it does cover souvenir cups. Up next, we are going to go over to Disney's Hollywood Studio inside Galaxy's Edge to the milk stand. It's honestly like the simplest place to grab a drink inside Disney. There's two things you can grab, blue milk or green milk. That's all they have, ladies and gentlemen, here. So I have tried both. I wanna say the blue milk is my favorite. They are gonna taste a little fruity. It's gonna be somewhat frozen, very, very cold, but I know my kids really enjoyed this. This was one that I also enjoyed. It's a nice refresher after you ride the Millennium Falcon. So check it out, it's pretty good. These come in alcoholic and non-alcoholic, and right now they are $8.49. So if you're in Galaxy's Edge, definitely you gotta try the blue milk or green milk. I wanna mention that there are so many drinks that I'm not gonna be able to cover in this video tonight, but 
I want to know in the comments below what is your favorite drink within Walt Disney World. I know that Animal Kingdom, like I started out the video with that rum blossom, it's absolutely my favorite drink within the four parks. There are a lot of great options also at Disney Springs, so let me know in the comments below what your favorite is. Okay, we're staying in Hollywood Studios for the next one. This is located at 50's Primetime Cafe. It's called the Peanut Butter and Jelly Milkshake. I literally just said it all. Who would not want to try this wonderful milkshake combination? Peanut butter and jelly. It's so, so good. You get this at the 50's Primetime located in Hollywood Studios, Walt Disney World, and you may have it as a dessert after your sit down meal. You can get it to go throughout the park, or I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. There is a bar right beside connected to the 50's Primetime Cafe. It's called the Tune In Lounge. So if you're looking at the main entrance, you're gonna go right to the left directly to the left and there is a door there and you'll see a sign above you it's neon and it says tune in lounge you do not have to have a reservation to go in there go in there go up to the bar and say you want a peanut butter and jelly milkshake to go now not only do, can you get milkshakes and floats to go like a coke float or root beer float you may also get mixed drinks they have bottled beer canned beer and wines it looks like a full bar in this select in this picture, and it, honestly, they have a great selection of drinks they can make you. They do have a bar menu with already pre-selected, pre-mixed cocktail looking drinks, and it's so, so good. Me and my husband stop here every time at night before we go to Galaxy's Edge and grab just a little pick-me-up, and the kids are more than welcome to go in. It's that 50s feel inside. It's just wonderful. Definitely check it out. As you guessed it, we're still going to stay in Disney's Hollywood studio. I'm so sorry, Epcot. I know that everybody goes and drinks around the world in Epcot, but we're going to stick in Hollywood studios for my last favorite drink in Walt Disney World. So the next place I'm going to send you is going to be a advanced dining reservation at your 60 day window mark. And it is going to be at the Aga's Cantina. You might say Aga, Oga's Cantina. Um, it is located in Galaxy's Edge. And in 2019, when Galaxy's Edge first opened, I was able to snag a reservation for this. I will say it is very teeny tiny in this place. And there's not much food. I know this video is about drinks, but I just wanted to let you know, do not plan to have a full sit down meal here because it is not going to happen. So this drink here is my favorite. It's called the Hyperdrive. It also says punch it next to it, but it's a non-alcoholic drink that has Powerade, white cranberry juice, black cherry puree, and Sprite. Here's a look at the one side of the menu, which contains non-alcoholic drinks. Really cool menu, and then I have the other alcoholic menu in this video as well, but this is a really cool place to hang out. If you are a huge Star Wars fan, you definitely want to snag a reservation for here, but these are hot commodities. Everybody wants to get in this place. Every The word's out, and everybody wants to go. So make sure you're setting your calendars and your reminders of getting up early to get those advanced dining reservation when your window opens, because this is one you'll definitely want to get. Oga's Cantina has pre prefixed menu items, non-alcoholic and alcoholic. They have two wines, four beers, and one hard cider on tap. Seating, like I said, is very limited. And once they take you inside and set you somewhere, they're going to ask you or stand you somewhere. Let me repeat that. You are not guaranteed a seat in this place. We stood for our entire experience, which by the way, they limit you to 45 minutes, two drinks, her customer so keep that in mind maybe not the best place to take little kiddos because it is very tight in there its seating is very limited and sometimes you do have to stand but they have very unique drink combinations so don't count it out if you're on an adults trip or you're hanging out with friends in Hollywood Studios so I didn't finish what I was going to say you will be asked once they place you at a table like they stand you at a table or they sit you in a booth if you try to move to another section, they're gonna politely ask you to go back to where they originally had you. So we've seen it happen before. All right, guys, well, that is my top 
five drinks that I love in Disney World. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Have a great Disney day. Take care. Bye-bye.